could that be the timing where maybe Biden says, you know, we need to go ahead and take action now and ask Mr. Gensler, thank you very much. It's been an honor. meeting people who have been deep in crypto and are extremely passionate and I was in I was hooked I, I was absolutely hooked uh, that we'll be launching a USD stablecoin um, which is something that we're really excited about and will help complement in addition to XRP uh, nearly 2 billion people are without access to banking services a Ripple XRP's uh, CEO says US uh, SEC Chair Gensler will cause Biden, Joe, Joe Biden to lose the election. Now, the head of SWIFT just said that they asked Pega from Ripple for their feedback on the tokenization element of SWIFT's new platform, as well as the CBDC side of their new platform. After being attacked and attacked and attacked by the Biden administration for the past four years. So Stuart, neither candidate has laid out a specific plan, but... So what's really interesting is, number one, they're creating a payment system that would go around SWIFT. First of all, they're all building alternate payment systems. Even the German foreign minister the other day said Europe needs an alternate payment system. Know what you hold? Enjoy the ride, pal. If you got a baggie, welcome to the party. Welcome back to some more Moon O'Clock News. Shout out to Let Us Up. We got Kelly Z in the building. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in, smashing them likeies. We got the total global cryptocurrency market cap today at $2.36 trillion, down about 1.7% in the past 24. We got XRP, XRP right around $0.47, cents, down about 0.2% in the past 24 we got Stellar XLM right around nine cents, up about 0.5 percent in the past 24. We got BTC right around 60,000, ETH right around 33, 34 hundo. We got Flare Networks right around 0 0.024, XDC right around three cents, 0 0.029, Axelar 57, 58 cents. We got Songbird right around 009, Stronghold 0056. We got Zahao right around nine cents, Evernode. 16 17 cents got a quick announcement before we get started we got the moon music volume 3 now available with the double-sided xrp xlm bag limited supply links will be down below also comes with the classic moon music volume 3 22 tracks also get a bonus cd moon music volume 4 while supplies last get your xrp xlm baggy now available limited supply we had xrp drops to pop things off ripple's new format built on the xrp ledger series santa feed it was most likely meeting people who have been deep in crypto and are extremely passionate and i was in i was hooked i, I was absolutely hooked sentiment take one mark <laughs> So my name is Suzanne Potch, and I focus on B2B sales at Santiment. Santiment itself is a crypto market intelligence platform, which has been around since 2017. And we help investors and other market participants to understand market cycles and how they should behaving in certain phases of the market cycle. So we have 2000 metrics to help you understand that. We cover four pillars of data, which are on-chain, social development activity, and also financial data. To give you this 360 uh, market overview, we analyze over 2,800 crypto assets. Then when it comes to social data, we analyze eight different social media platforms, including Telegram, X, Reddit, 4chan, and Bitcoin Talk, and so on. We collect on-chain data from the XRP Ledger ecosystem. And so from that, we're able to transform the data to actionable insights and allow um, members of the ecosystem to make more informed strategic decisions and not just based on assumptions. The one reason that everyone should be using sentiment is to really understand what is going on behind the crypto curtains, see the collective 360 market overview and make informed decisions. Educate yourself on how the ecosystem works because it is very unique in its nature and why this is the next step in the future of finance. You can have all the data in front of you, but if you don't know how to use it or apply it or what it means, then it's useless. <laughs> we got one from Bank XRP, Ripple, KC, Cradock, 
Managing Director of the UK and Europe Money 2020 Europe interview. Amsterdam Money 2020 and today with us Cassie Craddock. Uh, she's a Managing Director at Ripple UK Euro. And we, today we're going to discuss about uh, Ripple's, uh, the recent developments and what has been done. And uh, so that will be really interesting to get your insights, uh, Cassie. Welcome. <laughs> Hi, and great. Thanks for having us. Yeah, today we're going to cover like three main uh, aspects. Uh, the first is like strategic partnerships and expansions of uh, Ripple and innovations in uh, cross-border payments and regulatory framework because it's becoming more and more stringent. Uh, can you just like shed a light on those three topics, please? First is strategic partners, how Ripple is uh, uh, fostering and making collaborations around the uh, partnerships. Great, thank you. Um, so Ripple is building enterprise crypto solutions for financial institutions and we're providing, um, you know, banks and large financial institutions the end-to-end -end infrastructure platform so that they can easily build within the digital asset space. We've now been in business for um, 12 years. Um, we started back, um, you know, many, many years ago now um, with payments as our first use case because we saw a great opportunity to enhance and improve um, cross-border payments. Um, and so today we are, we have processed over $50 billion in flow. Um, we have payout capabilities in over 80%, um, 80 plus countries representing, you know, 90% of the FX market. And we continue to see adoption, um, of financial institutions leveraging our technology to send cross border payments instantly, more cost effective and without the need to pre-fund in this destination, which is a trap liquidity issue. And beyond that, you know, we last year announced our acquisition of, um, Metico, um, which was a $250 million acquisition, which is our largest to date. Um, and that's a custody, uh, platform that, um, you know, enables large banks and financial institutions to safely secure their, their assets. Um, and we continue to expand products and services that are driven by customer de demand. This year, we announced our, uh, that we'll be launching a USD stablecoin, um, which is something that we're really excited about and will help complement, in addition to XRP, um, the ability to send cross-border payments, but also is a key piece of infrastructure that is needed for developer adoption of the XRP ledger. So something that we're, we're really excited about. So that's really impressive. We got Volante Technology says we're optimistic about the future. Many countries are yet to start their cloud journey. Real-time payments and ISO 20022 demand is high. APIs and payments as services are powering modernization. See the story. <laughs> the future is very bright. Many countries are just starting their cloud journey. Many payment types are not yet real-time or ISO enabled. As a front runner, we are very well positioned to serve this need. We will continue to work very hard to realize our mission. This is very personal to me. Nearly 2 billion people are without access to banking services. Our low-code cloud technology platform can reduce that number. So we can bring the benefits of digital inclusion to everyone. We got blockchain backer. This is the earliest presidential debate in history. Presidential debates take place late September and October. There is a reason it happened in June and you just witnessed it now. Show begins. XRP drops. Gary Gensler. Fired soon. Drain the swamp. Breathe the standard. US, a Ripple XRP's uh, CEO says US uh, SEC Chair Gensler will cause Biden, Joe, Joe Biden to lose the election. I totally agree with this. I think right now, Gensler, with, especially with, with deference, with Chevron, being overturned. This is a no win for uh, Mr. Gensler. I think at this point right now, prediction is most likely you've got the uh, round table coming up with Mark Cuban, uh, Ro Khanna going into the White House. Could that be the timing? This is in you know mid-July, I think it's 11th. Could that be the timing where maybe Biden says, you know, we need to go ahead and take action now and ask Mr. Gensler, thank you very much. It's been an honor. We looked at it and said, hey, maybe it's uh, 700 days out before Gensler gets fired. Maybe that's much closer now. Because remember, this was his full term. This would give him another 706 days. I just don't think he, he lasts that long. Meanwhile, Justin, Coinbase officially sues the SEC, FDIC accusing federal regulators of trying to cut out the crypto industry. They don't want you with those generational wealth bags. Riz XRP, listen, in their own words, shout out Fame More. 
make sure that, you know, whether we are participating and supporting different initiatives where possible, we do our own experimentations. You're absolutely right, right? So we talked with Pega and, and with Ryan on, on tokenized assets and CBCs. And- now, the head of SWIFT just said that they asked Pega from Ripple for their feedback on the tokenization element of SWIFT's new platform, as well as the CBDC side of their new platform. So SWIFT is evolving over the years. It used to be a neutral public good. However, the U.S. has dominated SWIFT and forced SWIFT to carry out their bidding by sanctioning countries and kicking them off of SWIFT and really weaponizing the SWIFT platform. So now that this technology exists, any country can really create their own cross-border payments platform, but you still need the network effects. And SWIFT already has the network effects, and they're leaning on not only Citibank, but Ripple for their, their tokenization as well as their CBDC platform. SWIFT is important because they have the network effects, but also they're connected into countries' payment systems that normally most, most public chains will not have access to unless they're specifically given access to the payments platform. So SWIFT being connected to all these platforms mean that, means that at one point, this will be a seamless way of bringing money from people or businesses into the crypto world. And they're leaning on Pega from Ripple to get feedback on how to do this. We got Peria and DC crypto is the majority. We are the majority. 40% of eligible voters are either Gen Z or millennials. Crypto is the majority party, says Peria and Warren. Surprised that crypto is a talking point on the campaign trail. Now, when you look at President Biden, he's reportedly going to join a roundtable next month. He's been tweaking his messaging to be more crypto friendly. Actions speak louder than words here, though. He recently angered the community by vetoing a bipartisan resolution that would have limited the SEC's oversight. 49% of eligible voters are either Gen Zs or millennials. So crypto is the majority party. I think many of them are very motivated after being attacked and attacked and attacked by the Biden administration for the past four years. So Stuart, neither candidate has laid out a specific plan, but we've been speaking with large players like Coinbase in the space. The industry is spending a lot of money and it really has the potential to pick one of the candidates this fall. Yeah, it does. Very interesting. Thanks, Kelly. We got one from Jack the Rippler breaking what the BRIC nations are doing. They don't need to use the Swiss system. The BRIC countries have already successfully tested XRP, the standard. We don't need to use the SWIFT system because we don't want to be subjected again to U.S. sanctions because if the U.S. is sanctioning you, you can't move money using that SWIFT system. Mm -hmm. So what's really interesting is, number one, they're creating a payment system that would go around SWIFT. But how do you do that when you have five major countries that all have their own currencies? And one of the ways they're doing that is by using possibly cryptocurrency to do that. That would Mm -hmm. translate their currencies into a single cryptocurrency that is then used through the system and then re... um, formulated, I guess, mm-hmm. when it gets into their country, back into their their own personal um, uh, currency. They're trying to get out from under dollar hegemony, and that's going to happen. And then there goes the power of the U.S. to impose these sanctions, right? Correct, because if you, uh, first of all, they're all building alternate payment systems. Even the German foreign minister the other day said Europe needs an alternate payment system. Uh, they could do cryptocurrencies. I'm, I'm not saying by Bitcoin. Right? Again, this, this whole alternate system, it's being created now. This is not science fiction, but it, it, it could affect the dollar very, very uh, rapidly. Sounds a lot like XRP built to move value. Welcome to the Internet of value. Know what you hold. Dr. Fender, according to the U.S. debt clock, one ounce of silver is now 231. And oh, wait a minute. Our targets were one ounce of XAG, 103, 393, respectively, probably because Sirius conjuncting Venus today. Make a wish. We got one from Mustache Bitcoin. Perfect retest of the three month breakout of the previous all time high DSS crosses bullish, just like in 2020. Before the bull run has really started, the second half of 2024 will be incredible, in my opinion. Candle close in two days. We got Grayscale Crypto Snapchat Assets, XRP. We got one from Smoke Dog. Ripple has remained in the top 20 cryptocurrencies across all cycles. Even with all the paid FUD, even with the fraudulent SEC case, XRP, faster, cheaper, more efficient. Bye bye, middlemen. We got one from Santam and Feed. Bitcoin's mild rebound after the dip the past two weeks has been short lived for now. But note that the continued negative sentiment pouring in from the crowd indicating their patience is wearing thin. This, along with a low RSI of just 36, are strong indications. The bounce is close. 
And we got Jasmine Cooper. Has anybody noticed? XRP, XLM, XDC charts. They look very similar. Send it. Send it all. Not your keys, not your crypto. Make sure you have your cryptocurrencies stored offline in a secure cold storage wallet. The most easy and safe hardware wallet to send. Biometric wallet. 37% off the double pack, 25% off the single pack. We also got the all-in-one card wallet. 5% off. Links down below. Descent wallet. Your best wallet for XRP, XDC, XLM, Flare, Songbird. Not your keys. Not your cryptos. Secure your bags for the transformation of value. Bagman Bag Ladies, we got a new track just released on all platforms. Do it for the bags. Links will be down below. Also available. Sonar Muse, YouTube, Spotify. Also, don't forget to get your baggies while supplies last. XRP, XLM double-sided baggies. Also with Moon Music Volume 3. Also bonus CD while supplies last. With that being said, BitTrue post is unavailable. What they said, when in doubt, go all in on XRP. Where will those bags be? When that regulation jar molasses finally breaks open and XRP's true price is finally revealed. Big bags. Later, glitches. So we turn in the fly up. You see that Batman on the flyers. Just do it for the bags. And every time you wanted to spend it, I said, no, crypto low. Hey, just do it a for the bags. Like pushing war again. But we a bunch of strong warriors. Manifest our glory. They told us his story. But we put that out of it. We taking back some of this inventory. This is story. Taking shots like Rambo Ori. It's all or nothing. These bags we stuffing. Deep state they bluffing. We know we pumping. No, you didn't want us with it. No, it's something. Them hidden hands. Don't listen to no puppets. I just do it for the bags. Keep buying.